Stress symptoms can affect your body, your thoughts, feelings, and behavior without realizing it. Stress that is left unchecked can contribute to health problems. At Manette Day Spa, our highly trained massage expert therapist can recognize problem areas to ease away everyday stress with a variety of massage methods. You owe it to your body. Call Manette Day Spa to book your appointment today. 360-405-0293. All right, well, you hear that buzzer there. You know what that means. We're about ready for second half action here on the ISBNSports.com. Park and Rec game of the week. So as we get going here. In the first half, we did have uh, five ties, seven lead changes in the the first half. And um, as we get ready for the second half, Admirals wind bounds off to our right. Try to struggle to get my paperwork here from sticking to my hands. Second half action. 34 and 33. Admirals on top. To start things off. They'll be going from our uh, right to our left here on uh, your uh, internet mouse dial. Green goes in. There's Tony Tudor to block it out, but right into to uh, Johnny Anderton. And there's a put back in by Henny. So it's like that. 36-33 equals the biggest lead. Here's Enoch Taylor going in, and he is trapped in the paint, but he also uh, is fouled on the play as well. Not shooting foul. Nope, it is going to be a shooting foul. And Enoch Taylor will find himself at the free throw line. In the first half, he had two. Williams had five. And officially, Dixon had ten in the first half. Connie Taylor had five. And... Uh, and there's a great chance I missed uh, a lot of those. <laughs> other points as it sits. So, um, first free throw is off the marks. Next free throw by Enoch Taylor, swirls in and goes in. 36 to 34, Enoch Taylor gets his third point and we come back the other way, a foul is gonna go be called against the Wildcats. Darnell Green will inbounds off to our left. Frank Moppins is number 33. He's waiting to come in. He was a late addition here in the uh, first half. Let's get it inside to the Johnny Attitude who elevates and scores. He's having a nice, nice game nonetheless. Thirty-eight to thirty-four. Biggest lead is at four now for the Admirals. Here's Gursky driving in, kicks out for Williams for three. Out the front rim, no good. Taylor with the rebound. It kind of sent it out for Deontay Dixon, who reloaded and fire and hits the triple. Deontay Dixon. Gives, trims that lead from four quickly down to one. Darnell Green, hesitation move, goes in against the defense of Taylor and scores Darnell Green. Pushes that lead back out to three. Shot off the mark by, by Gursky. Long pass down and too strong for Darnell Green off the, the long pass by Johnny Attitude. Here's uh, Dixon. Can't get it to fall. Taylor will tap it up and in by Kanye Taylor. Active hands by Kanye Taylor. Here's back that lead to one off the miss. Here's Green. Fires one underneath the Henny off his fingertips and out of bounds. Good look. Through active hands. But a turnover by Admiral's wreck. Leading it by one with 17 minutes to go here in the contest. We get the first game of the day. Gotta like that. Here's Kanye Tater faking left, going right. All base for 15 feet and hits. Kanye Tater heating up. Gives the Wildcats back the lead. The lead change. Here in the first half, that's lead change uh, number eight. The green spins in, goes up, and Williams whistle for the foul. 16 28 and ticking here in the, in the ball game. Darnell Green at the free throw line. Prize guys brought to you in part by McGrill, McLeod's Grill House as well. Bermondsonjunk.com, don't be a hoarder. Get rid of your stuff. 
First free throw is in by Green. Ties the game at 41. And now it hits the shot, 42-41. Half down to Green, lays it up, and end by Green. Forty-five, forty-four to forty-one. Here's a shot by Enoch Tater, hits the shot. Enoch Tater now with six. I don't know if they changed the scoring up on, ties the game at forty-four. I could have swore they had it at 44 a minute ago. But we go by them, not me, that's for sure. Okay, so we're tied at 44. It's because that's another tie here in the first half, or in this game, rather. And that would put us at um, six ties, seven ties in this game. Williams, left all alone with fire and hit. This is Todd Williams with a triple. Eight points for Williams, 47 to 44. Wildcats now lead it by three. Green, left baseline, uses the pick from Moppins who gets it back. Trying to do something with it, hounding him as Williams. Get it off to Johnny who walks with it. Turnover by Admirals Rick. Port minutes and ticking here in the first half. Good basketball game. Dixon comes into front court. Wildcats point from our left to our right. Gursky skipped pass on the baseline to Williams. Too strong and a turnover by the Wildcats. Quickly down to Green. Gets it out for, for Clark. Here's a long shot. In and out, no good. Ball tapped up by Taylor. Saved from going out of bounds by Gursky. Hands it off to Deontay Dixon. Left-hand dribble in the front court. Gursky at the free throw line, just to the right of it. will kick it out for Tater for three. In and out, no good. Moppins will yank down the rebound. And floor out those elbows. He says, come close, I dare ya. That big body of his brings in the front court, hounded the Connie Tater. Behind, steal by Williams, going up. And high off the window and in is Ulysses Todd Williams. The catalyst for the Wildcats, giving him a 49 to 44 lead. Biggest lead by the Wildcats now sits at five. Here with 13 on nine and ticking here in the second half action. Admirals coming into the contest one and three. Wildcats coming in at three and one after the loss last week to Team Hops. Going bounds right off to my left. And here's the whistle to win bounds. Rick across the baseline. Clark kicks out the Moppins on the far angle off the far side of the floor. Dribbles in, trapped there by the Wildcats. Gives out for Johnny for three off the mark. No good. Gershaw with the rebound, but tapped out and stolen away. Here's Devin Hill in the ball game. He will bring a high dribble out of backcourt. That's all alone. Fire up straight away three. Hit the, the back window and off the front rim and no good. We have a timeout on the floor. Time on the floor. We'll step aside as well. Now this is by BourbonsonJunk.com. Don't be a hoarder. Get rid of your stuff. Go to BourbonsonJunk.com. We are who we are, we get stuff, then don't use it anymore. Then wonder what to do with it as it's all piled up in the garage or becoming an eyesore. Pack it up and bring it to the dump? Yeah, right. One problem is you don't have the means to do so. No problem. Call Bremerton Junk Removal, they'll do it for you. Scrap metal? No problem. Refuse your yard debris? No problem. Needs spring cleaning done or your garage cleaned out? No problem. Don't be a hoarder of useless stuff. Got junk? Call Bremerton Junk Removal, 360-233-6799. Or visit their website, Bremerton Junk. 
We all know House Call is known for their superior cleaning service. But did you know House Call has added a new service? That's right. Say hello to House Call Holloway. From beds to recliners, appliances to electronics and chairs, it's House Call Holloway. For more information, call 360-552-0525. House Call Holloway. For stuff you don't want anymore. All right, here we go. Inbounding are the Wildcats off to our right, going from our left to our right. And uh, now have built themselves a five-point edge, 49-44. As they'll inbounds in the backcourt to Deontay Dixon with a slow dribble out of backcourt. Finds Gershie at the free throw line, kicks out to Williams. He's had a hot third, second half. But he gets it out to Dixon. Thrown away by Hill. Hill will go up and spin it off the window and in. Big steal by Devin Hill. Narrows the gap, 49 to 46 with 11.46 to go here in the contest. Dixon, the Gersky at the free throw line, will spin and fire from 16 feet out to mark. No good, too strong. Long pass down to Green. And he will go uncontested in is Darnell Green. He goes up and hits the lane. And it's a, just a one point game now, 49 to 48. Wildcats up, up on top. Sneaking in is Dixon, missing the shot from 16 feet. Kanye Taylor with the offensive rebound. As he goes back up with it, he is fouled on the play by the Admiral's wreck. And he'll find himself at the free throw line. Apparently a non-shooting foul, so the Wildcats will inbounds off to our right. Shot, Shot from the baseline off the mark. Here's a nice back behind the move by Johnny Attitude. Goes out the back window, lays on the front rim, falls off. Williams a streak in the front court, cut out there by the taller man, Henny. Now hounded, as is Gersky. Hill flies in and almost with the steal on a good effort by Hill. Deontay Dix Dixon looking for the foul, will not get one. And Wildcats, however, win bounds off to our right on the sideline off to our right. Not on the inline, but just off to the side. Quickly coming in is Monde, Mondo Ortiz. Here's Dixon straight away from long range off to Mark No Good. Jameer Johnson tries to go over the back of Mondo Ortiz, but Ortiz is, gets the rebound and comes in the front court as he hands off to, to Johnny. Who cut off there by Williams. Finds Henny on the far baseline. Fires it underneath to Ortiz. Gets it back out on top for three. Off to Mark, no good by the Admirals. That time that was Clark with the shot. Couldn't get it to drop. Jameer Johnson for 15. Leaves it off the angle right, off the side iron. Rebound pulled down by the Admirals. Who uh, lead by one, 49 to 48. Hitting on the baseline. They get it back out to, uh, to Ortiz. Back to Henny for three. Air ball. Williams with the rebound to Kanye Taylor. Always looking to springboard to the rack as Kanye Taylor gets it out to the far side to Enoch Taylor who elevates it, hits the triple. Enoch Taylor, his second triple of the evening, gives the Wildcats now a 52 to 48 lead with nine minutes to go here in the contest. But there's a timeout and there will be a timeout. With that said, we will Take one, two. Now this by Tiny Mustard Sign Shop. Whether you're starting a business or already have one, express yourself with Tiny Mushroom Sign Shop. Signage-based company providing services such as final decals, business cards, graphic design, banners, flyers, and more. So whatever your needs are, come visit our professionals at Tiny Mushroom Sign Shop at 605 North Callow in Bremerton. To set up an appointment and to see how Tiny Mushroom Sign Shop can help you, call us at 360-479-9090. Express yourself with Tiny Mushroom Sign Shop. Well, howdy. Welcome back to Bremerton 76. Your usual, honey? A large biscuits and gravy? No, wait, maybe a breakfast burrito? Oh, you want a sausage, egg, and cheese breakfast sandwich? Which one are you going to have today, darling? The bagel, croissant, English muffin, or biscuit? A breakfast burrito too, sugar? You must be hungry. And a large cup of coffee? Oh, you be careful now. Here at Bremerton 76, it's always hot. Oh, how about a brownie for later? You know we make them fresh. 
Thank you, baby. We'll see you later for lunch here at our deli. We have those burgers you love with all the fixings and our special sauce. Bye now. Y'all come back now to Bremerton 76. You know where to find us, honey. Right here on the corner of Rydell Road and Wheaton Way in East Bremerton. All right. There's a turnover by the Admirals. Kanye, or Enoch Tata will get it out to Dixon from the baseline. Goes up front rim, back rim. Rebound by Kanye Tater. Goes up against the trees and lays it up and in. Con, uh, Kanye Tater. Pacing the Wildcats. 54 to 48 now. Their biggest lead. And that only lasts for a moment. Just for a moment as Johnny Attitude hits the shot. 54 to 51. Good game here at the Bremerton Park and Rec facilities here on Lebo Boulevard on the ISPNSports.com Park and Rec basketball game of the week. Kanye Tater where we look from outside into the short. Lucas Henney will pull down the rebound. And then the stolen away by momentarily by Williams. Retrieved back by Henney. Gets it into Ortiz. Now to the Clark on the near corner baseline. Off the mark, there's Ortiz with a rebound. Kicks it out to DeGreen. He'll reload from outside. Hit the triple. Darnell Green hitting the shot. And we are tied at 54. Our eighth tie of the game. Here's Teeter will reload from outside. Off the mark, no good. Clark with the rebound for the Admirals. Quickly in the front court to DeGreen. Works against Tater. Flips it out to Henny, who retrieves it back. Goes there from 18 feet and hits. Darnell Green gives the Admirals the lead at 56 to 54. Another lead change here in this game. Lead change number nine. Here's Jameer Johnson. Nice feet underneath the Williams who closed the lay-in. Ball tapped up. Retrieved by the Admirals. Who come into front court. There's Clark behind the back dribble. Down today, but a defense of Kanye Tater still with it. And then powers right over. Standing here, Deontay Dixon. A little too much ball, a little too much one-on-one uh, -on -one that time by Clark. Rolling up against three Wildcats, missed by two of them, and then pounds right into the chest of Deontay Dixon who was waiting for him in the paint. Turnover by the Admirals, who lead it by three, 57 to 54. Sometimes I don't think they put those score up there and they throw me off on my own score. When I think I'm wrong, I'm actually right. All right, uh, there's Deontay Dixon with a left-hand dribble. I see the Wildcats trailing it by three. Enoch Tater for three on the near angle. Air ball. But the outlet pass stolen back by Taylor. Finds Kanye Tater. Back to Jameer Johnson just to ride the free throw line for 15 feet, no good. Ball tapped up by Tater to Johnson. He goes into the lane and he draws the offensive foul as Johnny Anderson takes the chest. Bumped by Jameer Johnson and draws the offensive foul. And he turned over by the Wildcats. Two trail by three. Six minutes here to go in the second half action here for the Brick, the Brick Palace here in the Brimpton Park. The Brick facilities here on Lebo Boulevard. They'll scare a yuck on the baseline. Wasting some time just getting the ball in for no reason. Darnell Green, left-hand dribble. Bring ball out of backcourt. Met there by Kanye Terry. Gets a pick by Henny. Cut off there by Johnson, who comes up with the steal. Jameer Johnson, two on two. The Kanye Taylor, he'll drive in, split the fingers, goes up and then draws the foul on his Kanye Taylor. Good defense by the Wildcats. They have that suffocating, trapping defense. And when you get a lead on the Wildcats, you want to keep that lead, you have to keep your composure. The Wildcats will converge on you and stick to you like, like uh, bubble gum to the bottom of your shoe. Hard to get off. So Kanye Taylor will bend, flex, and the first free throw is good. But Kanye Taylor gets another free throw. Trims the lead down to two, 57 to 55, with under five to go, 4.53. To go in the contest, next free throw by Taylor, hits them both. 57 to 56, here's that pressure the Wildcats will do in the backcourt. Almost a steal, Green will retrieve it, flip it out and gets it into Clark. They break the press. Back to Clark. On him is Kanye Tater. Clark will go in, go up, and miss the shot. They're being deflected by Dixon. Long pass down to Williams, who glides in a rack. Is Yusuf Ty Williams, who scores. Here's the Wildcats back to lead. 
58 to 57, another lead change. Here's a shot off the mark. Dixon with the rebound. Countered at the half court stripe by Clark. Get it to Cardi Tater for three uh, near your angle. Off the mark, no good. Ball tapped out. Saved from going out of bounds by the Admirals. They went to tap it back to, to Johnny, and it goes by him. Wildcats with the basketball. Inbounds in the far baseline off to the far side of the floor. Leading up by one, 58 to 57. Here's Williams for three, nails it. Money, four point lead for the Wildcats with a timeout with 3.43 to go. Wildcats with a four point lead now. With 3.43 to go, we will step aside as well. You wanna make a difference? You can be a, make a difference by joining the Fraternal Order of Eagles 192 in Bremerton. Hey gang, k Mac here, host of the Pin Eye Golf Show. You want to be a part of something special? Of course you do. And you will by becoming a member of the Fraternal Order of Eagles. Enjoy the benefits as a member while supporting your community and local charities. Fraternal Order of Eagles opens at 9 a.m. for breakfast Saturday and Sunday and 3 p.m. Monday through Friday. Become a member of the Fraternal Order of Eagles. To find out how, call 360-373-4944. Fraternal Order of Eagles, helping others since 1898. When you find yourself in need of insurance, you ask yourself, where do I go? Who's the best? Who's the most affordable? If this is you, your questions have been answered. H&K Insurance. H&K Insurance is an independent insurance agency specializing in customized policies. They represent a variety of different insurance companies who offer comprehensive packages at affordable prices, like Kemper, Travelers, and Pemco. H&K Insurance has three locations, Silverdale, Port Orchard, and in Bremerton. To see how H&K Insurance can assist you, call 360-377-7645. H&K Insurance. We're here for you. All right. Uh, welcome back to the broadcast. Came back here with the, the Brick Palace here on Lima Boulevard. And the Wildcats, he is 61 to 57. And a play. the Admirals in dire straits down the stretch with that traffic defense. Breaking it is Green. Kicks out to the far side to Ortiz. And then hounding him is uh, Kanye Taylor. And Kanye Taylor will. Be whistle for the foul. With 3.23 and ticking here in the contest. And Frank Moppins will inbounds for Admiral's wreck. Look at somebody get the ball into. They do to Henny. And on top to Clark. Three minutes even to go in the contest. Wildcats by four to Green. Working right side against Demir Johnson. Gets on the baseline, pushing up underneath to Johnny. And there's a foul called on the Wildcats. And it would appear to me that, that he pushed off with the left hand offensively instead. But nonetheless, unseen. He'll be at the free throw line. Shooting two, 251. To go here in the contest. So the clock stopped momentarily. First free throw is up, and it will be good. Nice shot. Close it down to three, 61 to 58 now with the three-point lead by the Wildcats. See if he can bump it down to two. And he does. 61 to 59. Dixon with a slow dribble in the front court. 2.43 to go. Wildcats clinging to a two-point lead off the far side to Kanye Tater on the far angle. Out on top to Dixon, swings it near side. Back it on top to Dixon. The free throw line to Johnson. To Kanye Tater from 15. Off the mark, no good. Rebound pulled down by the Admirals. Rick on the run. Williams will try to slow him down. Out on top to Green for three. Off the mark, no good. There's Dixon. With two hands, bringing up high to pull down the rebound. 2.15 to go here in the, in the contest. Dixon swings it. Taylor for three. Enoch Taylor, that is. There's Connie Taylor taps up for himself in the offensive of rebound. Blows up with the reverse, misses a shot, gets his own rebound. But another reverse, can't get it to fall down, and he will go up and pull it off, almost off the iron, and hand off to Johnny. And he gets back to Henny as he calls his half court with Jameer Johnson meeting him defensively. Got the green on the baseline, overplay by Williams, and there's going up and hanging in the air is Darnell Green, and we are tied at 61 with a buck 45 to go. 
our ninth tie in our ninth, tenth lead change here in the game. Tied at 61. I don't think we've had an overtime game yet here in Park and Rec Ball. There's Jameer Johnson going up. Keeps it short. Ball tapped out. Picked up off the floor by Herbert. And he walks with it as it comes across half court. He looked up, he was, saw a defender in his face and he picked up his dribble and then walks with it. So we got 1.15 to go. Enoch Tater will, will inbounds just off to my left. Deontay Dixon waiting for the inbounds. Gursky will inbounds. Jameer Johnson with a slow walk off for the, for the Wildcats. Deontay Dixon. At the free throw line to Gursky. Elevate from 20. It hits. Marquise Gursky hits the shot of the night. 64 to 61. Marquise Gursky with the biggest three of the game. Kenny at the free throw line spins around for Green for three. Not the mark, no good. Dixon with the rebound. And he is fouled by Henny as he comes across half court to slow him down. And uh, Marquise Gursky hits a big three. They give the Wildcats a 64 to 61 lead. And now four, 49 seconds to go here in the contest. And Frank Moppins uh, pleading his case to the referee as it lists as Todd Williams went bound to Dixon. This is where they'll hold the ball and make him convert John Meter foul him. They'll play keep away. Gersky will get fouled. Clock stop at 39 seconds to go. We saw, I can't remember what team it was earlier uh, in the uh, the summer league, just stand there. And uh, the clock wound down and by the time they body figured out they better do something, it was too late. Simon Henny, here's a quick foul. Gursky will send him to the free throw. That's a good foul, however, by Dwayne Clark Recognizing that Gursky is not, is not the best in the team with three, throw, three throws. But he did come up with the biggest three of the night moments ago to get the Wildcats to the lead. Gursky's free throw, it's good by Marquise Gursky. 65 to 61, not only does he hit the big three, does Gursky hit the big free throw to give the Wildcats a four point lead with six, at 65 to 61. Next free throw is good. 66 61, Marquise Gursky. And if Gursky will foul Green as they come across half court. 36 seconds to go here in this one. The most unlikely suspect to launch one up from long range for the Wildcats, Marquise Gursky does so from 21. And he hits the three. In Pair of big free throws. Green off the mark. Rebound by Clark. Inside to Ortiz. Ball jabbed away. Outlet pass to Deontay Dixon with 25 seconds to go. Finds underneath. Enoch Taylor who elevates and hits. Enoch Taylor gives the Wildcats the lead. It's 68 to 61. Their biggest lead of the night. Seven point lead. And that's going to propel the Wildcats with 11 seconds to go to four and one. Here's a, Johnny goes up, he is fouled. Go with five seconds to go. We'll hit uh, Marquise Gursky in, in here uh, for the post game show. And uh, we'll get Todd Williams in as well. He's a little spark plug. He had, he had about uh, nine, C, five, seven, nine, 11 points for the game. This is Todd Williams. Enoch Tater had a good game in the zone, right? He had, he's 8, 10, and 12. And we'll get, uh, here's the talk, Williams, Enoch Tater, and uh, Marquise Gershke, 3, 4, and 45. Free throws good. Goes with the app 68 to 63, but it's gonna be all academic. As the Wildcats, once again, come up late, 68 to 64, and, well, there's a late three, and he got it. 
68 to 67 will be your final. As uh, Johnny gets the the free throws and the steal, then he drones one for three point land, and that's where we're going to end up at 68 to 67. Wildcats win over the Admirals Wreck tonight. This is a special presentation by ESPN Sports and Mega Talk Radio. Park and Rec game of the week has been a good one. Your final score it is the Wildcats coming out on top 68 to 67. A little late quick five points by Admirals Rec. Makes it a little, a little closer than it really was. But once again, your final score, the Wildcats come out on top 68 to 67 over the Admirals. And your ISPSports.com and Make It Talk Radio AM 1400 game of the week. That will do it from here. Next week, more Wildcats basketball on ISPSports.com and Make It Talk Radio. You've been listening to a special sports presentation of Park and Rec Basketball, exclusively on ISPSports.com. Heard around the world, the rebroadcast, dissemination, reproduction, or transmission of this copyrighted broadcast without prior written consent from ISPN Sports is strictly prohibited.